hi everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial here i'll be showing you how to design a crypto exchange um flyer for social media all right um it's very simple and um, very very easy to do so um i'll be showing you each step i'll explain each step i take here in this video tutorial so that you can understand everything Right, um, so um, let's head on to CorelDRAW. Um, the version I'm making use of is the CorelDRAW 2020, and this is the interface. All right. Um, okay. We'll create a document first. Then uh, well, you might give it a name. You can give it a name. Okay. Um, crypto. crypto banner and um also um if you can't find this um dialog box here whenever you create um a new document you see that control n or you come to this area here or you hit on control plus n or you click um, come here whichever one if you can't find this i have a video in the description below on how to find uh, how to restore it back here yeah. so um number of pages one primarily primary colors rgb um page size okay still doesn't mean then um the width we're making use of inches here so um for social media so it has to be a square shape so it's eight then tab press tab now it then um the resolution should be 300 though you can change this later when you are done with your work and you want to export then um then you click on i think that is all i click on okay all right um this is the size we're making use of okay and um before I begin any design, I make sure I have all my resources ready so that it will make the design very fast and I wouldn't waste much time on my PC. Okay, so um, I have all my resources I'll be making use of for this design. So these are my resources. So I just copy them, Ctrl C, or you right click to copy. By doing this, it makes your work very fast and very easy so you won't waste much time designing on your pc or your computer whichever one and so we paste ctrl v or right click to paste um okay let's shift this by the side so um this is our actual size here it's already in inches 8 by 8 so um just double click here so once you double click on the rectangle tool, it creates it assumes the shape of the of the area here. So P to fit to drawing page. It assumes the shape of the drawing page. Alright, so um first of all we've already gotten our size which is eight by eight inches. Then um, we work on the background first. So um let's ungroup this control U or you come to this area here then now um, we see on group objects so um first of all we'll start with the background we'll pack clip the background into this yeah we'll just create it here so you right click and drag and you pack clip inside or oh, there are other different ways to do it i have a video in the description below on how to do so so I might just show you a few here. We right click, then um power clip, then this arrow comes. I send it here. So you edit the power clip, then P to fit the join page, then let's reduce the size a bit. Then um you hold on shift, then you drag so that you can or um reduce the size of this of, of this image uniformly. And um when um resizing an image you don't an Im image yeah you don't do it from the side you do it from the 
angle here so and you hold on shift whichever one okay i hope you got that and once you're done click on finish or you hold on control and you click outside then um here's a little trick rather than doing the power clip again you just hold on w and you drag this inside of this power clip frame you just created okay or oh, if that might be hard for you you might just cut this ctrl x and enter the power clip then you paste ctrl v so um we'll make this transparent so come to the transparency to select it then i uh, will make it um let's say 85 85 would be fine 85 i click i hit enter okay then um, we'll make use of this background so we want to blend these two backgrounds here okay so we'll still make use of the transparency to here to make to achieve this effect here so um click on transparency tool then you drag yeah so we'll adjust it so this line won't show here I think we're making progress here okay this is fine okay let's exit the power clip and see what we achieved and um let's move the outline of this first so you come to this area and you click on none or you right click this area i also have a video in the description below on how to move outline you can check it out okay and um we need to apply color to show the beauty of this background we just of these two background we just merged here so um we'll make use of this color that or should i say it's purple okay so we'll make use of the color eyedropper tool here what it does is sample colors and apply them to other objects so let's say for instance we can copy a color from this this so once you just copy it and you click on it then it turns into a bucket then you paste here so we're, we're making use of this and it turns into something like this so you, yeah this is the background we're looking for yeah i think this is it so let's undo that ctrl z and um we we'll still apply this color so any color you pick it comes to the document palette here this is where you call it this is the document palette here so select it then um I've made use of the two background too and um what we have to do now is to add the text now so we're making use of um the text now so um should be trade usdt slash btc with raza king also right, the copy then um let's make use of the text too and you click and you paste ctrl v so we'll change the color to white then we'll be making use of the montserrat font here i think it's a very popular font used by most designers montserrat okay if you don't have it you can as well download it and also i have a video in the description below on how to download and install font you can check it out okay um montserrat it has different font family or i call it um typeface yeah as it's been called so um select Montserrat medium okay um we need to make this big so increase the points 36 would do 
so we adjust the text so we to do that is um click use on the use the shape tool here then this appears here then you drag I think um we need to make this more okay let's change it to Montserrat bold yeah this is perfect all right and I think we can still reduce it this works fine now so um we're done with this so let's use this now this I think this something huge is actually the main focus here so I like this and you copy okay this here is a text frame um it's actually a text frame you can create it from this text to here just drag and you can paste your whatever text you have maybe place other text or any other thing like that okay um we copied this so just paste click here then you paste I will change the color to white I believe I'm making progress okay um I think we need to break this text and to do so just control K yeah control K control plus K and um I think if it doesn't work for you maybe you can go to text then um I think it's objects here yeah. break artistic yeah control key yeah if control key doesn't work for you you might go to object under here you see break artistic artistic text yeah okay so to do that control key I prefer this is very fast now change the font um, case from title to uppercase I think we're going to change all of them so we go to text then I'll change keys uppercase ok then um, we're making use of still the Montserrat font here for the something Montserrat bold then um for the something huge, we're making use of the Balinera font. You can type it here. B E. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Yeah, this is the font we're making use of here. So we'll drag it to our own to my own desired size here. Okay. So we'll centralize this. I drag this here. I think we should increase the size to fourteen. Yeah, then you hold on shift and click on the huge and C so you can centralize this. Click on this huge, hold on control, drag up to maintain balance. Then, um, let's not forget this. I like this. Change the font from era to Montserrat Bold. Then, um, you drag this. Yeah, I believe I'm making progress here. Okay, so um, we move on to the next one. So let's make use of this the USDT and uh, the Bitcoin. 
logo yeah okay um we make use of the rectangle to here um drag then we make use of the shape to to make all the edges curved let's drag yeah now we'll change the color to white move outline right click here then um we also make use of this rectangle to here so we'll drag then um we just curve this bottom area here so to curve just one side you hold on control drag and um control drag as you can see yeah hope you got that now we increase the thickness of the outline here okay how about one and right click to change outline color right click on this color here on the document palette and since this is selected hold on shift then c to centralize it then um This should be brought here. So I think we should increase this downward. This should be centralized. Highlight it, then C and E, and still hold on Control and C. Yeah. Then um, we have to duplicate this. Okay, so you drag and right click to drop to create a duplicate. Okay, I hope you got that. Let's undo it. So you hold on control, then you drag, then right click to drop and to drop a duplicate. So you delete this, let's delete this, then you bring the Bitcoin logo here. And you centralize them C and E. And hold on shift and C. Yeah. Okay. Um we have to write the name here. So we'll still make use of the text to here. USDT. So we'll change the font to Montserrat Bold the size of the font to 12 and the color should be this color here then hold on shift then C and E and you drag this just like we did for this drag hold on control right click to create to drop a duplicate and hold on shift sorry Click on the USDT, hold on shift, then C and E. So now we'll make use of the text to, to change this from USDT to Bitcoin. Alright, then hold on shift, C and E. Okay, we're making lots of progress here. Then um We group them control plus G. Okay, I think we need to bring this closer. Hold on control so you won't lose balance. Control plus G. Then um when this is selected, hold on shift, click on this, then C. Yeah, centralized now. We can still increase it. Hold on shift and drag. And hold on shift click on this to make sure it's centralized okay and um i think this should be taking up a bit yeah okay so now we are making lots of 
progress here. So we'll make use of this image here and you bring it here. Yeah, why this why I selected this image is because it expresses what this flyer is all about. So I think it's the best fit for it and it makes it very simple and very understanding and it passes a message to its target audience. So um okay. We'll be making or adding some effects to this. And um so I think we can increase the size. Drag let's reduce it a bit. Okay. So um we'll make use of the free hand tool here. So we're about to create this so let's, let me do it here yeah those play around with this i think we should make it a bit rough yeah this is what i want so you right click this is an outline so so you right click right click to give it um its color so um From his expression, I think he's making use of all his own energy. So I think this will do justice to it. And um, drag, to create a duplicate, and right click. So you just play around with it. We can reduce the size of this. okay and um so we can reduce this now so let's play around do okay we're making progress we can either make use of this or create another one but i prefer to create another one um just just let it be rough a bit yeah this should work right click to give it a color here then um make use of it here the um the hand here so it's I'm making use of three a bit okay And you drag down, right click, drop. Okay. And you drag this, right click, drop. So click on it and you adjust it to your preference. Alright, guys, um, if you watch this video up to this moment, um do all to hit on the subscribe button like this video and um help comment so that um youtube my sh and can show um this video uh, or recommend this video to others who might find this helpful all right so let's continue so let's play around with this okay So it's making much sense now. So um can just highlight this, copy it, then bring it here. We could have done so for the first one, just that um I wanted to every process to be explained clearly. Yeah, this is it, yeah. Okay, I think I added some here, so we'll just select two from here. And you drag right click and um t 
think this is close to his leg. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And um Okay. And um whenever I, this just this is just a quick tip whenever you're working on a design or a project always make sure to always click or save your work maybe to avoid um regretting later because it's a computer or a pc it might disappoint anytime so let's always click on the control s button okay um so let's continue from where we stop and um let's add the contact address now or contact info so we'll still make use of this tango to here so we'll draw change the color right click to move outline to change all the edges to corners yeah I drag right click drop then control r to repeat yeah to control r to repeat the process you just did here i hope you got that and um so really we're making progress here um we have already have the icons here for whatsapp instagram and facebook this is where the contact info provided by the client so um let's copy this let's start with the whatsapp first copy or ctrl c let's click to copy whichever one and make use of this text here ctrl v and change fonts so Montserrat, let's say medium, should do the job. Change the color to this. Then um, font size should be nine would work. And let's add our icon. Let's bring Instagram here. Drag. Like I said earlier, I'm making all your. All your resources ready for a design makes it much easier for you okay, i'm coming let me undo that ctrl z z i think all are in the same size i want to maintain a uniform size for all the icons so if this let me get a size for this instagram first and i use them for the rest so we bring it here ctrl or shift page up or you come to this area bring it here so this is kind of small let me undo that ctrl z so let me highlight this and um, increase the size let's bring this here shift page up or control page up, whichever one and hold on shift and e change the color from black to purple yeah actually looks like a purple color then um this size is okay but i feel there should be an increase sorry i was supposed to add the whatsapp icon not the instagram i'm supposed to okay shift page up or control page up and change the color and hold on shift and E, yeah, Ctrl G, then um, Ctrl G to group, then hold on Shift, then C and E. So I'll group this Ctrl U. So the size of this is um nine point. So the next one should be Instagram. The Instagram handle is official underscore Raza King. Copy right click. Ctrl V so the point nine points change font to Montserrat medium change color bring it here 
bring the icon change the color and shift page up or control page up and bring this closer hold on shift and e then control g then hold on shift then c and e as simple as that okay we are making a whole lot of progress here all right guys like i said if you've watched the video up onto this moment do well to like then um comment and um subscribe to this channel thank you um let's bring this now like i said always endeavor to save along the process along the line of doing your work so that they can always be a backup i click the country v and um change font name to montserrat medium font size to nine points and you click change the color and bring it here this is this is the facebook um name yeah shift page up or you go to objects order and then front of page or front of layer Sh either shift page up whichever one change the color and let's bring this closer hold on shift and e and ctrl g to group and hold on select this hold on shift and c and e okay i think this should be the last part adding the logo okay we change this to white this is the logo okay i think we are done or almost done rather so let's ensure our work is properly aligned so highlight this Ctrl G Ctrl G and Ctrl G the spacing between this to be very sure they are well spaced make use of the align and distribute to bring it up is um control shift plus a then you highlight these three objects and you go to distribute space horizontally just click on it and you see the space between them are equal so you are correct on the right track then ctrl g then still holding this this see i'm showing this is being selected and you hold on shift and select this the design and click on c it's centered now and um let's drag this now okay this is fine okay this should do let's drag it a bit okay you can work on this let's increase the size let's drag this i believe we've made this of all the information and resources that was provided for this design okay all right guys um that is it on how to design a crypto exchange flyer here in coral draw all right um it's very simple and very 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 easy to do all right um if you found this video helpful and you learned something new do all to like comment share our videos and um don't forget to subscribe all right guys um thank you for watching and um see you on the next
video tutorial.